Hello, so I've created a basic blog using Ruby on Rails. I've got a list of posts where I have a title and a body for each post. And I've pushed it here to production to Heroku. But here is the problem. Anybody can add new posts, anybody can edit posts and delete posts. And I would want to add some kind of authentication. So thinking in the Rails terms, I would need to add a, a user model. I would need to add a gem-like device for a user to log in. And this is already so much overhead. These are so many things I need to do. But there is a simpler way. It is HTTP basic authentication that is supported by all browsers and you can have some specific pages in your application where you would need a username and a password to access these pages. And actually a Rails application by default already has uh, some ways of accessing this HTTP basic authentication, setting a name, a password and actions inside the controller which require authentication. So let's try doing this. Now here I've got my local environment where I have a list of posts and I will try to add basic HTTP authentication. So I will go back uh, to our posts controller and here I will add this HTTP basic authenticate with name, let's say super rails, password one to three. And the actions that I will uh, not require authentication for will be index and show. So I will say accept uh, index and show. Okay. And uh, you see this works as a callback. So we've got this before action uh, for specific actions and this HTTP basic authenticate with is also a before action. It's also kind of a callback. And we are going to set the control actions. So let's see if it works. I refresh and you see the index page works, the show page works, but if I go to edit, I require uh, yeah, to authenticate. If I go to uh, cancel, you see I get this HTTP basic access denied. So let's actually authenticate. I will go to edit the post. I will uh, add the username and the password. And you see I'm logged in and I can edit this post. So it works well in development, but in production we would require well not to expose our password. So we will want to use Rails credentials. Let's do that. I will go and edit our Rails credentials. Let's say editor Vim Rails credentials edit i to insert let's say http auth uh, name will be super rails and pos will be uh, one two three four uh, escape uh, semicolon wq to exit with saving so file encrypted and saved now let's try to access our credentials in the console let's say rails application dot credentials dot dig http auth and we have the name and password so let's get the name and the password now you see as the password was inputted just as uh, uh, numbers, it was uh, kind of perceived as an integer. So we would need to say 2s to make it uh, work and not get any errors with a password being submitted as an integer. So instead of having the exposed name and password, I will say... Uh, uh, so here for the password, I will say Rails credentials password.2s. Then uh, for our name, I will say Rails application credentials dig name. Just in case, I will also say 2s. And let's center this for it to look fine. Okay. So this way our credentials will be hidden. Let's uh, try to push the hook and see if it works. I will say git add all git commit main http auth uh, callback git push and push to heroku main one thing i really like about uh, rail 7 and not using webpack is that it takes like 30 seconds to push to heroku Okay, and one thing we also need to do, you see we've started using these Rails credentials and we've got our master key and we need to tell uh, our Heroku application that we're using uh, this master key. So I will need to push our credential to Heroku. Now here I've uh, already made a command previously, so we would type Heroku config set Rails master key and we would copy our local master key. So... Uh, we upload the master key to Heroku 
and Heroku will be able to decrypt uh, our uh, Rails application credentials. Okay, let's see if it works in production. So go into our production application. Here we have our post. We have a list of posts. I will go to new post and you see it requires authentication. So I would need to say super rails and the password. And now I can add the additional posts. So you see without uh, a lot of hassle, we've added this kind of authentication. But uh, I don't really like this kind of uh, callback HTTP basic authenticate because, uh, well, it's just a callback and we can't pass many params here. I would like something better and actually Rails offers something better. It is uh, authenticate or request with HTTP basic. So here we have a few different options and importantly, we can pass a block. So let's try using the solution instead. I will uh, go to our private method and say def uh, HTTP auth I would add it here and so we don't need to pass the realm realm is basically the parts of the application that will be accessible if the user uh, authenticates so for example you can have uh, realm uh, posts and separate login and password for posts realm notes and separate login and password for posts but let's just use the default one that is application pirate and the uh, login procedure we will have it inside a block so i would say authenticate or request with http basic uh, do and we will pass the username and password okay and here we will say uh, username equals rails credentials username to s and password equals rails application credentials pass to s okay and we will need to call this before action so instead of having this http basic authenticate with i will say uh, uh, before action http authenticate accept index and show Okay, and the cool thing with passing it uh, as an uh, uh, action in the controller is that we can pass uh, additional things we want to do. So, for example, we don't want this kind of uh, authentication to be required in our development environment. To do so, we would uh, be able to say return true if rails.env equals development. So this way we don't require authentication in development. Let's check if it works. I have our application here. Okay, let's start the server. Okay, now I'm going to new post. We are already logged in here. So let's go to a new tab. Okay, here in the new uh, tab, I'm also logged in. Let's try a new private tab. And in the new private tab, I'm also logged in. Well, anyway, uh, it worked because I had return true. Let's remove this return true and go back, open a new private tab and you see authentication is required. Again, I will uh, uncommit this line, refresh and you see authentication is not required in our development environment. So it is a handy thing that you can uh, use not to have to authenticate in your development environment. And finally, uh, how can we check if the user has authenticated? Well, uh, the request header would uh, contain something like HTTP authorization. So let's see how it would work. Let's say we want to see if the user is authorized with HTTP. I would say equals request. And uh, the request actually has such a thing like authorization. And here in our uh, logged in place, uh, where we have already uh, logged in, we have this basic uh, and some kind of hash. And if we are not logged in, let's go somewhere else to a new private tab. You see, I go to posts and uh, I don't have this uh, authorization present. So here I know that I'm not authorized anywhere. And here I know that uh, I... Uh, here in the non-private window, I know that I am authorized. So I can, uh, well, you can dis display different parts of the application based on the presence of request uh, authorization. 
And that's basically it. So here are two ways to add HTTP basic authentication, the simple one and the better one. And uh, this way, if you use in Rails credentials, you don't have to expose anything to production. I hope this episode helped you. Goodbye.